Hi there. Today I'm going to explain the swallowing anatomy and how we can look for that on a FEES, which is a fiber optic endoscopic evaluation of swallowing. That's the assessment that we do here at SNR, both outpatient in our clinic as well as um, we do mobile FEES for patients who are in the hospital or in inpatient facilities that type of thing. So we really like this test. It shows us a lot of useful information that really helps us to best treat our patients. So I'm gonna explain that to you today and tell you what all great things we can see on that. So I'm gonna try and show you a picture here. Let's see, get it where we can see it. Okay, so first we'll look at the side view of the anatomy. So in our throat, we have two tubes. The front tube is our airway. That's the trachea that leads to our lungs. So this is where we don't want anything to go when we swallow. The back tube is the esophagus. This is the one that does lead to our stomach. This is where the food or liquid or pill or whatever we swallow should go. This is where we want it to go. So in a normal swallow, our tongue pushes everything back and then this flap called the epiglottis flaps over and it closes off that front tube, our airway. And the vocal cords, which are also right here, close tightly and they also help close and protect the airway. And then all of those muscles squeeze and they pull upward and forward and they open up that back tube really widely so that the food and liquid can enter and pass into the stomach. So on the test that we do, we use a small nasal endoscope, so it's passed right here through the nasal cavity and hangs just right back here. And we're able to look at all of these structures on the scope from above looking down. So on that test, our view looks like this. So this is the view from our camera of this area looking from above. So I'll kind of explain on this picture what we're able to see. So here we're looking from front to back. So the front is at the bottom. This is the very back of the tongue. So this is in our throat where the tongue connects. This right here is the epiglottis. So this is that flap that we were talking about closing off the airway. These are our two vocal cords. So they're right here. They're kind of like the door to the airway. So below that, we're looking at the trachea, which is the tube that leads to our lungs. So that's the one where we don't wanna see anything go when we swallow. Back here is the esophagus. So the door to that back tube, the esophagus, should stay closed. It's a sphincter that remains closed when we're just at rest. So normally, like right now, when we're just um, talking or if we're just breathing, we're not eating, the front tube, the airway, remains open so that we can breathe. Um, when we speak, the vocal cords close and vibrate, but when we swallow, they also close tightly to protect our airway. So on our view here, when the scope is in place, this is again what we see on our screen, as the patient takes a bite or a drink, we see that come back to the back of the tongue. And then what happens here in a normal swallow is the vocal cords and this tissue here called the false vocal cords closes really tightly. That epiglottis flaps over to cover up this tube, the airway, and then all those muscles squeeze and pull open the sphincter at the back to let the food and liquid in the esophagus. So on our test, the patient eats food and liquid that has food coloring in it so that we can spot it easily on the camera and we're able to see if any of the material goes the wrong way. So if it goes in between the vocal cords, which would be aspiration, if it goes down the trachea, we can see if anything gets stuck anywhere, any residue. Um, and ultimately, you know, the goal of that test is to figure out what is happening with these different structures so we can get to the bottom of that and figure out the best treatment plan. So, you know, this isn't a, um, a pass or fail test. So we do a fees and we look at all those muscles and structures and figure out what needs to be done. And then based on that, there are exercises and treatments that we can do to help improve those things. So on that test, you know, if we see that something gets stuck or goes the wrong way, we might have the patient um, try another bite of that or another drink of that thing that they had difficulty with and try a technique. So we may have them try to tuck their chin or turn their head to one side or the other if something's stuck on one side or different things like that to try to figure out the best way that they can eat and drink those foods safely. So we really love this procedure and we've had a lot of good um, treatment outcomes with it. 
we have students every eight weeks here in the clinic and typically it's a, a rite of passage that we scope them and we usually video that so on our um, YouTube channel we have and on Facebook there are some videos of our students being scoped if you want to see an actual video and see what that's like but we're really excited to bring this tool to you and if you have any questions about it please feel free to reach out and we're happy to help.